Hi, Gemini. Welcome to February. So I haven't done readings this way in a long time. I've had like a really crazy last year or two, but here we go, getting back in the swing of things, embracing that Capricorn new moon, um, your February general reading. So first I'm going to give you a general energy of what it's going to look like overall the month of February. The challenges you're going to face in the month of February, the vibes that you're putting out in the month of February, and then a specific area of focus or a goal that you can attain because this Capricorn new moon um, that we're in right now as I release the video is all about setting goals and achievement. We're going to look at the areas of finance, career, work, all as one. Um, we're going to look at your love life, whether you're single looking for love, if you're not looking for love but you're single, and then also if you're in a coupled or partnered relationship, and then we're also going to look at your personal growth or development for the month. Now the last thing is I am going to add in there um, for those of you who follow me on a lot of social media or maybe you're a Patreon subscriber, you'd know I'm obsessed with crystals. I think that crystals can help us heal in a lot of ways, help us to embrace um, our own psychic gifts and blah, 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 whatever. So I'm just going to tell you what your crystal of the month is for the sign of Gemini, okay? This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Let's get started. <laughs> general in February. And by the way, I am using the Gilded Tarot today as well as the Wisdom for Healing Oracle deck. <laughs> All right. Um, for general in February, Gemini, what is it going to look like for you overall? All right. So you might feel a little bit disconnected from people that are close to you. Okay, you might not be feeling like you're cultivating deep loving bonds and connections. You might not feel like your connections are as strong as they typically are. But a lot of this has to do with embracing that Capricorn new moon energy with all of these new ideas you have about work, about finance, about stability, about your day-to-day -day routines, maybe your New Year's resolutions, that kind of a thing. And it's so, so worth it. And overall, like you're setting up, you're setting yourself up for long-term achievement and reward, okay? This is the kind of card you wanna see when you're making long-term plans. The Ten of Pentacles is all about, you know, um, where you're gonna be when it's time to retire. Like, what kind of ultimate success do you want? What kind of life do you ultimately wanna live? And it's a very positive omen to have the, the page be there saying, here's my new idea, followed by the Ten of Pentacles, because like, this idea is lit. It is like a fucking guarantee, oh, excuse my language, but it's like a guarantee. It's like, this idea that you have, take it, run with it, because it will pay off for you. It very much will. Okay, so overall for the month of February, what kind of challenges can you expect to face? And I'm getting two things here. Now, the challenge is going to be for you to bring certain things that don't work for you to a close. You have to completely shut the door on some things in your life so that you can walk through new ones. This could be relationships. This could be an old job. You know, this could be you um, walking away from your corporate life to start a new business with that page of pentacles idea. However that this resonates for you, this is going to be very important. Some of us have this hesitation here and you really need to just actively shut that door and walk through a new one because we already have the guarantee that it'll pay off for you. Now the other challenge is to be brave in this, okay? The full energy is all about trusting the universe. You know, we see that. The universe is represented here in the world. The world offers us like the entire world, okay? Like whatever it is in the world that you want, it is possible for you to have it, but it does require you to take active steps to close the door on the things that don't work in your current world situation so that you can have like a new, um, a new, how do I want to phrase this? I have like a thousand miles a minute in my mind here of all these awesome things for you, Gemini. I'm really excited for you. Um, 
so that you can have all of these things in the world that you want, right? You don't even have to know entirely what you want yet, but just know that all of these blessings are going to come. That's the hard part, to have that blind faith, that trust in the universe. And now they're saying, you know, it's also trust in other people. Look at all of these different signs represented here. Now, with the Fool card, it's saying, I don't have to know how, I don't have to know when, I don't have to know why the universe is hooking me up with all this sweet blessing. I just have to trust that they are. Okay, and so that's a big challenge for you in the month of February. Ultimately, the overall goal or theme for you in the month of February, before we break it down to specifics, is to assess those relationships, just like I was talking about previous. There's some shit we have to let go of, and then there's some relationships that maybe aren't as deep or as close as we would like them to be, or maybe they're not deep or close for a reason. You know, maybe relationships that you're maintaining are kind of a waste of your time because you're not getting much back in return from those. So this is where we start with this energy, okay? So the goal says, um, or the lesson is for today, identify one dynamic component of a close relationship that's really important to your emotional and, emotional and physical health. It's important for you when you're healing and a particular relationship is causing you stress. Exactly what I was talking about there. If your relationship is a healthy union, then go ahead and celebrate. But we already have there with the Two of Cups reversed that there is an unhealthy relationship in your life that just maybe needs to be either fixed or tossed. So the goal, integrate your relationship into the quality aspect of your life, okay? So that's where we are in general for February. Now looking at your work, career, or finance specifically, what's it going to look like? Um, you can't be defensive, okay? So especially when we were talking about all these new ideas and stuff that you have, if somebody is offering you guidance because you shared this idea with that page energy, which is all about communication, and they said, ooh, you know what, that's not going to work. Or you can make it better this way. Don't get defensive and be like, ah, you don't know what you're talking about. Some of that advice is not maybe going to be good, you know, because it's free and maybe they don't know what they're talking about. But some of it is going to be golden and it's going to propel you to that Ten of Cups um, energy, to achieving all of these things that you desire. Now, um, the challenge is going to be feeling good in all of this change, in this time of change. Um, now, you might be feeling like you know, if I make these changes, if I start this endeavor, it's like a domino effect and boom, boom, boom. All of these other things are going to happen as a result of me doing this one thing. You know, it could be like a fear. I have this awesome business idea and I'm afraid that I will get too busy too fast and it'll be too much for me to handle. Well, that's actually a good problem to have. <laughs> so your challenge is um, just to feel really good and secure in all of these changes that are coming for you now. What kind of vibe are you putting out in regards to work in the month of February, work, finance, and career? They say that maybe um, you're not aligned with other people. And so that relationship that I was talking about might not actually be a love relationship or a friendship it could, or a family relationship. It could be a work partnership. You might not just feel aligned with where you're at and therefore need to make these changes. It's, t it's time to know when to cut ties and do something different, okay? Now your overall goal in regards to your work, career, or finance for the month of February um, is to actually practice visualization, okay? So you've got to visualize what it is that you want to create in your life. You have to get a nice clear picture in your mind. Making a vision board would be helpful. Um, writing down some specific goals and looking at those daily, that would be helpful. Um, but really see in your mind, stretch yourself, try to do this because it will pay off. What does that Ten of Pentacles energy look like for you? Like if you had, what does enough money look like? What does your day-to-day -day, um, routine look like in regards to career? Like how much time do you spend at work? Where do you work? Do you work from home? Do you work, you know, from a beach? Like what do you do? You've got to visualize all of these detailed aspects of your life, okay? In regards to your love life, what is it going to look like overall in the month of February if you are single? It might not feel like, you know, there's much new prospect or anybody that you're excited about. If you're coupled, it's saying, you know, 
you might feel like you're giving a lot to the relationship and not getting much in return and therefore losing enthusiasm in general there too. Um, what is it, what are going to be the specific changes or challenges that you'll be facing if you're single? And it's going to be uh, to try to find enthusiasm and keep looking when you're already feeling like, oh, everybody I'm meeting sucks, or you know, maybe they're a great person, but I'm just not attracted to them, or whatever. So emotional balance is going to be a challenge in regards to finding that enthusiasm to keep putting yourself out there. If you're coupled, the challenge is, um, which way do I go? Okay, you're coming to a fork in a road and it's like, do I stay, do I go? Do I put in more effort? Do I just succumb to it and just wait and see what happens? That kind of a thing. Now you're doing a really great job um, on occasion, focusing on the positive things and not you know, focusing on the negative things in your relationship. However, the challenge is to do this more often, to focus on the positive if you're trying to stay together. If you are thinking about leaving, then the opposite would be true where you need to think about the reasons why you're staying, are they fear-based? Because if they are, you've got to really look at the positive aspects of being single that you might have just cut some serious bullshit and stress out of your life that allows you to apply yourself in other sectors of your life, including career money finance. Okay, so what are the vibes you're putting out this month if you are single, Gemini, honesty, and you're a chatty Kathy, but that's typical for a Gemini. Um, for those of you who are coupled, what kind of vibe are you putting out there? Well, it's kind of this vibe of like, damned if you do, damned if you don't, okay? There might be some abusive tendencies in your relationship, and it's not necessarily you that's causing them. Um, it could be, but what's happening here is it's like, everything just feels wrong, you know? Like, if I stay, it's wrong. If I leave, it's wrong. If I um, try to be romantic, like, I always fuck it up. Like, I brought them roses and they love tulips. Or they just say, flowers die. Why would you get me something that dies? It's like that movie with uh, Kate Hudson, How to Lose a Man in 10 Days or, or something like that. It's that kind of an energy um, where it's like something is holding you together. And it might be a valid reason in your mind. It might be an actual, real valid reason um, in terms of circumstances or, you know, even love. But if you're telling yourself that you're stuck in the situation that you are in, um, if you're telling yourself your relationship is going to be this way always, that's not necessarily true. You can make decisions within the month of February to change it for the better or just bounce. Okay, now in regards to your uh, goal, if you are single in your love life, what kind of goal should you make for yourself? Spending your day with God, the universe, Allah, spirit guides, angels, doing yoga, whatever, getting in touch with your spirituality. Spending a whole day, actually, like a Sunday, a lazy Sunday would be good, really getting in touch with your spirituality. Because if you are able for that day to really envision yourself in the loving arms of the universe, of your angels, or something like that. You're going to find a lot of comfort and clarity from that, and then you'll have a better idea of the next steps to take or just be more comfortable in your current situation. Now, in regards to your goal as a um, coupled Gemini, what it says here is releasing the need to complain. Now, it did say that your challenge is to focus on being more positive, isn't it? <laughs> and so um, you really want to release this energy of needing to complain or needing to vent. Vent to a friend instead of to your partner, um, especially if it's about your partner. Because... <laughs> That's really going to make the relationship not feel so good. And this could be that devil card energy that we're seeing that has become a negative habit in the relationship. So it's saying focus on the positive sides of the relationship, the positive aspects of it, okay? Very important for you in the month of February. Now, in regards to your personal growth and your spiritual development, what is it going to look for you, look like for you overall in February, Gemini? 
Um, it's very introspective. It's not very public. And kind of like what I was talking about with that last goal there for um, single Geminis, you go within, you figure it out, you cultivate some patience and trust in the universe, and you figure it out. Like, what makes my heart really shine? Like, what would make me really happy in general? But specifically, it's going to be important, too, when we have that Ten of Pentacles energy that's there for us to take advantage of. Um, in regards to the challenges that you could face in the month of February for your spiritual development, they're like, the challenge is that it's not so challenging. You might be overthinking things. You might be like, oh man, like maybe I just don't have these psychic abilities. Maybe I'm not intuitive enough to receive the messages. Everybody is. It just takes time and practice to develop them. Um, but they're like, you already are. You're just overthinking it. Like get your own fear and anxiety and negative thinking out of your own, out of your way, out of the way. You're blocking yourself from receiving the adequate um, guidance and advice and message from whatever it is that you believe in. Okay, so what are the vibes that you're putting out in regards to your spirituality and personal development? And again, that kind of fork in the road energy that coupled Gemini's had in their love life, where it's like, you could go one of two directions. You can say, I'm going to ignore this part of my life. Not so important. Like, I am going to focus more on like what seems real and tangible and observable as opposed to, you know, like a cult and mystical. Or you could totally go the other way. If you totally go the other way, though, there's a lot of benefit from that for you in the month of February because you have all of these cards saying, you know, go within, try to express um, gratitude for these positive things, figure out exactly what you want because we are your team. Your spirit team is like, we're going to throw all these blessings at you should you do the work. So, hey. And then in regard, whoa, they say another one is patience. <laughs> if you can be patient, that um, I want to point something out specifically about this card. Okay, so she was patient. She waited for her tree to grow its fruit, right? So she shows up with her basket and a ladder, and she's like, I'm going to go get all these little pentacles out of the tree. Well, because she was so patient, by the time that she showed up to get them, one pentacle doesn't fit in the basket. It's bigger than the basket. So the rewards of taking that more spiritual path are greater than you can imagine. It's sevenfold, okay? She went to put seven tiny pentacles in her little basket. She comes and not even one fits. So times seven, whatever you want, you can achieve it times seven. Okay, and as I say that, we're at 17 minutes and 17 seconds into the video. So that's a number message from Spirit. One is about starting something new. Seven is about expansion. And then one plus seven coming together makes eight, right? And that's about rapidness. So if you're starting something new, it can expand very greatly and rapidly. So make sure that if there are all these things that you want and you actually truly want them, because that's how law of attraction works anyway, right? That and co-creation. But what it's saying is make sure that you really put that out there and you really connect to spirit because they want to give it to you. They want to throw it at you. They want to thrust it at you. Okay? So that's awesome. I kind of wish I was a Gemini this month. <laughs> I don't think I have any Gemini in my chart, except for my North Node, which who the fuck knows what that is. Okay, so the overall goal in regards to your spiritual development for the month of February, and again, just getting, you know, spend one day this month, one day in February, really getting in touch with your spirituality, with whatever you believe in, what whatever you call God or universe or energy or source or angels or, or whatever the fuck. Get in touch with it. Spend an entire day on it. Go to a retreat. Um, watch a shit ton of YouTube videos online. Meditate. Take a yoga class. Take a tarot lesson. Anything you can do. Oh, what are those things? Salt rooms? Have you heard of those? I haven't been to one yet, but... Hell yeah, <laughs> something like that. So they're saying, you know, a whole day of prayer, a whole day of like silence. So you can be really introspective with that hermit card energy because 
the entire world for one day needs to be like your sacred space, like your little church or your little masjid or whatever, okay? So every inch of your life is supported by something greater than you, okay? And even if you be don't believe in that, but you just believe in your higher self, okay then. But it's, there, there's something outside of yourself, right? So... So that point is, is that energy is there for you to get in touch with and to use to your own advantage. It's a support system. So make sure you take one day, one day in February to do this. I mean, ideally you could do it one day a week or a half day every week, but make sure that you make this a priority. Um, visualize yourself, you know, where you want to be because your wishes will be granted. You've got like a spiritual genie. So love and light have the best February ever. And it sounds like if you just make a few little tweaks in your life, you very well may. Okay. Bye. Oh shit. I was just kidding. You know what? Um, I forgot to tell you your crystal of the month. Your crystal of the month is actually rose quartz. Okay. Um, so to tell you a little bit about rose quartz, rose quartz is one of these stones known for love really. Um, but it's not necessarily about romantic love. So you could use it in regards to romantic love. If you do use it for romantic love, this could help you to attract someone. This could also help you to, you know, work on that relationship that we might have some struggles in in February if you're a Gemini. Um, but it can also help you with self-love. It serves as an antidepressant. It um, brings harmony into your home and family life. It reduces your worry. It reduces your stress. It helps you to sleep better. And we know that we heal while we're sleeping. It soothes your emotional pain. It um, balances out your chakras. There's a lot of really positive things that happen uh, with the rose quartz. So I'm hoping that I can get this on my terribly accurate page. So um, there will be like a full description of what the rose quartz does if you look in the shop, okay? Um, no pressure to like purchase a rose quartz or whatever. I only have a few on hand. But anyway, that's a good place to go and look and see what the rose quartz all about. Or you could do a typical Google search or whatever. Um, if you do work with angels, the angel associated to this one is Ariel. So love and light and have the best February ever.